I'm Kelly Drew. I'm a professor in biochemistry and uh, neuroscience at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. I'm holding an Arctic ground squirrel who is hibernating. He's just, she's waking up from hibernation. And when I look at this animal, I say, what if it held the clues to human hibernation? What if we could induce the same state in humans? These squirrels may hold the clues to treating cardiac arrest or stroke. This kind of technology would have potential for improving outcomes in these critically ill patients. Stroke is the number one cause of adult a disability, and cardiac arrest, uh, even about half the people are resuscitated, but those people will eventually die within about a week in the hospital from brain injury. In the event of a stroke in a remote village, the biggest challenge is that we have a very long distance over which we have to transport that patient. Those folks uh, are at a substantial risk for sustaining a secondary brain injury. When there is a medical emergency, they uh, send an airplane out like an ambulance and pick up the person and take them to the nearest hospital that provides the service they need. It may be a number of hours before that patient can get transported from a village to a hospital. One of the things that we can do if this were in a metropolitan area would be to simply get them into the hospital and begin to cool them quickly. And it's not something that's easy to do, certainly, if we have to medevac a patient. Therefore, if we had some other way of decreasing the, the patient's body temperature, we would have the potential for substantially improving that patient's outcome. Hibernation really is the next step in, in therapeutic cooling because it targets metabolism first. We found a drug that would um, induce hibernation in the ground squirrel. And, uh, and so that was our first major you know, breakthrough about understanding mechanism. We need to work up to human trials. What we want to show is that if you take a large animal like a human, uh, that when you inhibit this metabolism that they will cool. And hibernation has been studied at the Institute of Arctic Biology for over 50 years. We have the infrastructure that many places don't have. So at the University of Alaska Fairbanks, I started as a research scientist uh, in 1992, and that's when I was first introduced to hibernation. I had come from a background of uh, biomedical research and neuropharmacology and I was always interested in consciousness and how the brain worked and so when I saw this hibernating ground squirrel I was completely smitten. They like to hibernate curled up so they maintain heat. It's really all about energy conservation. So they like to roll up like that and use their tail as a little, little face mask. I'm really optimistic that what we've seen so far is a path towards a product that you know, could ultimately be a single injection syringe that EMTs could carry to extend the golden hour for them to be able to get to a large hospital. The potential good of this is incalculable. 